Hello guys, what's up? This is Mona Me again. Today is Thanksgiving. It's Turkey Day. So I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Um, I just got finished eating dinner. I had some turkey, some greens, some stuffing, some rice and beans, some pork shoulder, some ribs, potato salad mac and cheese, all the good stuff. But I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to everyone. And we shall all be thankful and appreciative of the things we have. Thankful for life. Thankful for our family and our loved ones. And continue to be blessed and keep it pushing. Keep it going to the top. But I just want to say something real quick about how sometimes we're not as grateful as we should be, and I feel like this Thanksgiving for me, it's probably the most meaningful, and not because my family, like, it was basically just me, my mom, my daughter, and her friend for Thanksgiving, so not all of my family was here, like my brothers and my sisters, like it normally is, but it's cool, you know, I'm real thankful and appreciative of what I have, and Thankful to be living another day, to be reading another another day for another day of life, and just being appreciative of what God gives us and has given me. But real quick, I just want to express something that happened over the weekday with um, one of my daughter's school bus drivers. Basically, um, they changed the bus drivers, and she had a new bus driver, which was a woman, and I guess on her first day of work, a uh, parent called and asked for the bus driver to come back, to go two rounds and come back to her house, which is completely completely out of line and completely inappropriate because, first of all, you're not supposed to call the bus driver and ask them if they can wait for your because you're not ready, your kids are not ready. You're supposed to be ready. You're supposed to know to have your kids ready at that time. How are you going to tell the lady to circle back around when, one, first of all, the kids have to get to school at a certain time? Second of all, you should have been ready. You know the routine. We're in November now, going into December. You should know the routine, and you should know to have your kids ready to get on the school bus. If not, suffer the consequences. Take your child to school yourself. Or call an Uber or something. Like me, if I miss the bus, I never, I'm never going to call and get angry and ask the bus driver to come back because that was my fault. I should have been on time. What I will do is I'll just take an Uber or make some other arrangements. But absolutely not call the bus driver or disrespect her. So basically, the parent was, this is what my daughter told me. The parent was calling the bus driver out of her name, calling her ugly, saying, calling her a B, a mother effort, all of this in front of the kids, like, you just have no class or no respect, saying, oh, I gotta get my three kids to school, okay, so that's that lady's fault that you're not ready, it, that's that lady's fault that you have three kids and you can't get them to school, you know what I'm saying, like, you, we're supposed to be appreciating people like this, we're not supposed to be disrespecting them, especially if they're getting our kids to school on time every day. And why, like, my daughter told me the bus driver was crying, and the bus driver was upset, and my daughter did ask her, is she okay? And she told me the bus driver was like, yeah, baby, I'm okay, but she was crying while she was talking, and that just broke my heart, because I couldn't believe how nasty that woman was to that bus driver. Like, it, it literally broke my heart. Like, these people are not only getting our kids, doing us a favor by getting our kids to school safe, but they are driving to school, driving in the snow, they're, they're getting our kids to school safety. That's the whole big thing. Why would you try to make somebody feel like crap calling them ugly and calling them names to degrade them when they're doing us a favor? Why would you even make that lady feel upset? You know, like, God forbid, what if the lady got so just lo You never know what anybody's going through. So what if that lady just lost it and took the brush and rammed it into a pit or something and then... Our kids are going, God, God forbid, but our kids, something happened because you made that lady feel like crap. So that's why I make it my duty when I see that woman to tell her, 
Hi, honey. Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. I told her on Wednesday morning when she came. But I just try to make it my duty to make people feel good about them, themselves because I know how that feels to feel crappy, you know. And I don't want nobody to feel like that. I don't think nobody deserves to feel like that. Especially like I, like I said, when she's getting our kids to school safely. And that, as parents, that's really our job to get our kids to school. That lady doesn't owe us anything. Even though that is her job and her profession to operate the school bus. But you understand what I'm saying? Like, that's our duty to get our kids to school. It's not, don't put that on the lady or degrade her like that. I, I just couldn't believe that. And I just want to say, like, I appreciate, like, my plan was to buy a gift card for both the bus drivers, thank the teachers, you know, show appreciation for these people that's helping build our kids up. Because they are in this rough, it's a rough job. And... I just, I'm just thankful. I'm thankful for, like, the bus drivers, my family, my loved ones. Thankful for my job. And I just think we need to do better as a people to lift each other up instead of tearing each other down. Because that's all you hear on the news nowadays. People committing suicide. People, depression. People losing their mind. Like, you never know what someone is going through. And... Any little thing could be the last ticking bomb. Like like those people that bomb schools and stuff like that. Like what could be, what took them to that point? You never know what, I'm not making an excuse for them. But I'm just saying we need to be kind. We need to be loving. We need to be caring. We need to spread love and not hate. And have, the main thing is patience and understanding. Have some patience and have some understanding for people, you know? And... I know this was this was supposed to be a Thanksgiving post, but I just wanted to quickly express that because that was on my mind and my heart the past two days. So I just wanted to um, express that and just give a message for everybody, anybody to, that's watching this, any and everyone that's watching this, that we need patience, love, and understanding in this world today because it's a lot of evil, hurt, pain wicked stuff going on and we just all need to hold hands and try to come together as one and not disrespect each other and have patience you know that's the main thing patience love and understanding you know so anyway happy thanksgiving guys enjoy it i'm going to get my second plate and you guys have a good one